Hi, my name's Chris. Um, I'm currently an acting Republican. Um, I live in Lockport, New York, so um, about 20 minutes from Buffalo, 20 minutes from Niagara Falls. Uh, you've noticed out of the last, I would even say 12 years, um, how working across the aisle uh, with other Democrats or even liberal Republicans has fallen by the wayside. And it's only gotten worse since uh, President Trump has been put into office. He currently always undermines anything that the Democrats put through or any Republicans that are not agreeing with his policy changes or his ideals. Uh, he automatically votes it down and decides that he is not going to pass it, and he's going to veto it. Um, I feel that this is extreme detriment to our country. I mean, I'm not saying that there's not a lot of pork barrel spending when it comes to the Democratic Party. Um, we're guilty of it also as Republicans. But when a good bill is put forth, there needs to be some looking into it and some accountability held on passing that bill, especially if it is for the good of all Americans and not just for how he, the president feels about his beliefs and his smaller base of uh, political uh, Republican Party. Um, I don't have a problem being labeled a conservative. I try to deem myself more of a, a middle of the road. Um, but watching our government pretty much put bipartisan politics in the back burner is really becoming a issue countrywide. And it's really polarizing um, this country. And... It's it's making people turn against each other in ways that we haven't seen in, I would say, a hundred and about 40 years um, because of the president and his constant belittling people that don't agree with him, Twitter just running off at the mouth. I mean, the government wouldn't let Obama have a... a a BlackBerry because they were worried he would do exactly what President Trump is doing. And yet they had no qualms with it with President Trump. Um, and he keeps doing it, even though all of his constituents and all of us that had followed him and our party faithfuls keep telling him to please just stop with the tweeting, with the bashing of political opponents and anyone that does not follow you or doesn't believe in your ideals. It's weakened our government, it's weakened us as a uh, country, and it's it's weakened us as individuals, and it's really made us look awful as a party of Republicans that a lot of people are feeling uh, that their party that they, they believed in since high school or even longer has betrayed them and moved so far right that we're all looked on as racist bigots and just bad people, even if we're not, and we're extremely great people that have nothing but the best interests of our country in mind.